Hello everyone, welcome back to the garden where me and CAs are back at it. We've been pretty busy um, after the digger, kind of going down the line and sorting everything out, getting it almost ready to ride. So last week we did the first jump, which is looking super rad. The small line is still here, looking a little bit worse for wear after the rain. But I think we got some dry weather coming up uh, later in this week, so we might whiz through this line, give it a rake up, and then maybe uh, maybe we can ride it. But um, for today, we're going to be working on the second jump in the big line, in which we basically need to do the same thing again, um, where it's pretty hard to finish off perfectly with the machine, especially in uh, such a rush we're in. So we're going to steepen everything up and um, yeah, finish it off. So we built this jump and it was very wet and sloppy and it still kind of is, um, but it's not in too bad of a shape. So I think it shouldn't be too much work. Look how steep it is. And um, we'll talk you a bit more through what exactly we're looking for, for the perfect takeoff shape for a, for a jump like this, where we want maximum height um, and big airtime for tricks and work on this berm over here, um, which actually is in a pretty damn good shape. See, it comes off the second landing here down into the berm, there's a lot of sticks, it's been really windy lately, they've all snapped and blown down. Um, and this is all machine finished, but we all know with a bit of hand love, we can make it look really nice and uh, be ready to ride as soon as it dries out. So yeah, that's that. First job is the takeoff. How are we gonna shape this takeoff then, C8? Um. TA did a very nice job of stacking up the takeoff much too high, which was good um, because it is outrageous right now. It's probably seven and a half foot tall, which is good because we've got more dirt up there than we need, which is good because it's easier to scrape off than to throw dirt up, isn't it, CA? Yeah. Um, so yeah, we've made it a bit steeper and a bit taller than what we need because then we can bash it in, compact it hard and scrape out and bash the top down, which sort of just squishes everything out a bit nicer. Um, so that was some good ahead planning. Now we're gonna reap the rewards of that. So this is a very tall and um, relatively short jump um, because the higher you go on a jump, the more air time you have. Uh, weirdly, it has absolutely nothing to do with how far you jump. Um, I mean, you might need to check the science on that, but I'm pretty sure if you do a 100 foot jump, and go five foot in the air, you have the same amount of air time if you do a two foot jump and you're five foot in the air. Is that right? No. You don't think it is? I think that's right. Check the science, but I've always believed that. So I'm gonna keep believing that. And um, yeah, so we want ultimate height on this jump. So we're going for a steep old takeoff and we're probably gonna be looking for something around 65 degrees. That gives you a really high arc, not so much forward momentum, more upwards momentum. Nice tall lip to do that, so there's not gonna be too much compression. Cool. Um, so, <laughs> what we're gonna do is, because like I said, the take was a bit taller than we'd like, we're gonna start by chopping this top bit off somewhere around there, which I think is the right height for this takeoff. Then we're gonna use that dirt to fill in like these corners, this bit down here, because we want our takeoff to be nice and square. Yeah, then we're gonna see how it looks, and um, yeah, a bit of trial and error. So that's about the height we need, I think. Now, we need to think about the transition at the front. Um, I always like with our takeoffs to have as perfectly circular transition as we can all the way up to close to the top then for it to slow down a little bit and then to have maybe half a bike length so maybe half a meter to a meter of flat top yeah maybe a bit less than this one the longer the jump the more flat top you want or the more flat part here you want um, because this is a real tall steep jump we don't need too much flat so we probably go for about a foot a foot of flat off the top, that just helps. You don't, if you do 360s and stuff, you don't scrape your back wheel off the top because you've got a little flat bit to take off with and um, it doesn't give you any surprise. It doesn't kick you forwards. It just gives you a nice smooth takeoff up into the sky, which is what you want to be confident when you're taking your hands off or doing tricks or whatever. So that's what we're gonna do next. Again, we left a little bit too much dirt on top, which is cool. So we're just gonna slap it as hard as we can, to try and compact it in. And then I think with that curve, that'll actually look pretty damn good. So I've bashed all that dirt back in to what is kind of the right shape, but um, 
obviously we need a little bit more dirt so we're gonna have to find some around and normally there's a lot of rocks um but actually over here see so yeah, it's just making this side look real nice and steep and perfect like the first jump so i'm going to use some of that quite nice fine dirt obviously avoiding the rocks if i can and yeah poke it up there in the corner so we need to get that dirt up in that top corner um it's quite high and far away but a good technique um try and find some nice wet sticky dirt if you're lucky enough to live in somewhere hot or if it's the summer maybe water up like a little bowl mix it in and then pretty much i find the best way is just to lob it at the side and it'll stick on hopefully kind of like that yeah so you want to throw on more than is necessary because then you can compact it in and scrape it out and um yeah, that's how we build up the top of the takeoff. Nice. So now we've got all the dirt up in all the places that we need it. Pretty much the only job is to uh, slap it down and then see what it looks like and see if we need any more up there. What are you up to, CA? Sounds going to feel me slapping. <laughs> okay. If you slide as you pat, that stops your spade from sticking to it because if it sticks, it'll pull off the uh, surface. So if you give it like a bit of a slide as you slap, it makes it look good. And yeah, stops your spade from sticking basically. It's looking like good, isn't it? Got a few bits over here which are not quite stuck in. So we're gonna have to, ah, actually, that's where this comes perfectly into play. So all these little crumbles that roll down, they kind of create what's been known as dial gear from um, some countries like New Zealand uh, but yeah basically it's just the good crumbs that you can scoop up then again and just fill in the little cracks where it hasn't stuck and you can bash it in and smooth it all out oh yeah like that so um, I'm gonna do that for a bit So whilst that is starting to look pretty damn amazing, actually it's not. If you remember I was saying about how I like it to have a transition all the way up and then to slack off, you can see the top is actually, I think a bit too steep. It's quite hard to see, but yeah, we normally sort of look for about a 65 degree takeoff would be unbelievably steep. Um, and I just measured it and it's about 70. So I think whilst it might be cool, think we won't might not clear the gap because we'll just be going too high <laughs> and too high is cool but uh, I think I'm just going to come back and scrape off a little bit more just from that top and uh, see how that looks and uh, hopefully I'm a bit happy with with Mark too. There we go, I think that is a bit more like it. Now we've got that relaxing transition and perfect launch pad to set you on your way up there. So he's been stacking the landing up, using all this spare dirt from over here, making that side look good. Yeah, we're gonna put it all up there whilst we're at it because, yeah, it's quite a big old flat top up there. This side of the landing is a little bit higher than that one, so we're gonna build it up flat. Then it's gonna be an awesome step up slightly hipped and yeah <laughs> you get go flying off down there nice this side's done looks nice and square the top's done see he's working on uh, this side here which looks like he's almost ready to slap that in 
and I'm ready to just slap all of this front in. And um, yeah, we're looking good. Right, so as Sam said, that takeoff is looking absolutely gorgeous now. Um, but yeah, this is looking a bit rubbish. So I'm just gonna cut out this little bottom bit where it's sort of slumped in the rain, chuck it up on top so you get a little bit more height and then uh, slap all the back in and then we should be ready to go. Having a bit of a rummage. What you got there, CA? Brand new passion fruit Jaffa cakes. Wow, <laughs> I've never seen them before. According to the marketing, turn up the vibe. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, what does it <laughs> say? I'm gonna read. Turn up the vibe, turn up the flavor, turn your afternoon into a tropical pool party, all without leaving your desk. All the woods. All the woods. Go on then, let's have a tropical party in the woods. Okay, yellow, my hands are by the way, they're nice. <laughs> mm, what do you reckon? Such a tropical party. <laughs> it is, all without leaving our, our, our desk. Quite weird, kind of blows your mind a bit, doesn't it? Mm. Good snacks, yeah? Good snacks. So see, I stacked a good amount of dirt up on top. Now I just need to clean out this landing. There's um, yeah, a few sticks, a few rocks everywhere. I just need to clean it out. It's not really too bad. It's actually a pretty damn good shape. So it just needs a good, um, good old clear out and a slap. Good to go. We're back out in the garden. It's a lovely sunny day once again. And after all our work yesterday, this is looking amazing. We didn't quite manage to finish the back of the landing. So we're both gonna crack on with that for a bit. Make it look real cool. Yeah, make it look as good as a takeoff. There we go, so the hard work is really starting to pay off. The days are getting longer, the weather's, well, hopefully, for now, getting a bit better. Thanks, as always, for watching, guys. Keep those awesome comments coming in. Me and CA love to read them, and we love to see your own backyard builds as well when you guys send them over on Instagram. Mm, very windy. Keep an eye out for the next episode because me and CA start to do a bit of riding. Here's a quick preview. Yo! Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you alright? You missed the wheelbarrow. But uh, yeah, cheers. Make sure you subscribe to keep up to date with the build and with the, hopefully from now on, riding sessions. Cheers guys. See you on the next one.